In April 2014, a truck tractor with two trailers was traveling south on Interstate 5 in Orland, California. It left the highway and crossed a 58-foot median, hit a car that was going north on I-5. The car spun out of the way and the truck hit a bus. There was a large fire. Two drivers lost their lives, the truck and the bus driver, as well as eight passengers on the bus. 37 others on the bus were injured. That crash was my seventh launch as an NTSB board member. The National Transportation Safety Board is considered the preeminent transportation accident investigation agency in the world and investigated that crash to pursue its mission, which is to determine the probable cause of a crash and then make recommendations so it does not recur. That's why we're talking about this today, because it's important for anybody in the AV industry to understand the NTSB's role in investigating crashes. So let's explore a little bit about the agency, its mission, investigation procedures, and how we can use lessons learned to enhance roadway safety. The NTSB is an independent federal agency, which means it does not reside in the Department of Transportation. And it's made up of about 400 people, mostly residing in DC, that launch to regions all over the United States. Let's talk a little bit about the investigation process. First, when a crash occurs, usually it's something where lives have been lost, where there are a lot of injuries, and it's something that the NTSB investigates to try and make recommendations so that safety can be enhanced in transportation. The first part is an on-seat investigation. Usually there's a launch, and that could involve a single investigator or a small team or a large team that includes a board member. Once on site, their primary focus is on preserving factual information. They can explore any aspect of the crash. And on site, they're gonna hold an organizational meeting, progress meetings, brief the media, and brief the families. After leaving the scene, about 10 days later, there's a preliminary report that includes all the factual information that's been obtained and summarized to that point. There are parties that are included in the investigation. These could be operators, manufacturers, even first responders or other groups that can help provide technical information as factual data is collected. Once all the factual information is collected and the NTSB has analyzed it, then there's a board meeting which is held in the public. And at that board meeting, the factual information is presented, the analysis, and there's a determination of the probable cause, contributing factors, and issuing recommendations to any organizations to make sure that that kind of a crash does not happen again. Shortly after the board meeting, a final report is generated, which summarizes all of that information. Historically, the NTSB has mostly focused on commercial roadway activities like trucks and buses. But over the last few years, there's been an interest in new technology in the Office of Highway Safety. And so they've investigated crashes in Florida, Nevada, and California, where there have been lives lost due to new technology. At Zooks, we take the lessons learned from NTSB crash investigations and apply them to our development, testing, and operations. In fact, we've actually developed NTSB-like procedures. So if there is an incident, we can investigate and determine what happened and what kind of changes we can make to ensure that we're always developing, testing, and operating in the safest way possible. I encourage everybody to use the resources at the NTSB to learn about crashes that have already happened. Their mission helps to make transportation safer for all of us. For those of us in the AV industry, there's a tremendous amount of lessons for us to learn about how we can apply all of the crash information that's been collected from the NTSB to help us in our development and testing procedures so we make sure the future, our roads will be safer.